guys, I'm going to just set this uh, truck up, um, TRX4, um, not done anything on it since uh, since I unboxed it, it's just been sat here, um, I was hoping to get out uh, tonight, which was the day I got it, but uh, it didn't arrive till late and uh, just uh, no way of getting it out, so I thought well, take a bit of time over it now just to set it up, because normally you kind of rush these things and rush into banging a battery and stuff, but uh, yeah, I've got time to uh, to sort of figure out how this all works on camera, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, I've watched the other people doing this, and my first thing is I'm using quite a big deep battery, so I know this spins around this uh, battery holder, and I'm hoping one size says 23 mil, this says 26. I'm assuming that's the biggest side. I'm hoping this fits in. So it's probably tight, but I'm sure it'll go in. They always do. Yeah, that is tight. Yeah, that's in there. Now, this is not the ideal size battery to use for a crawler, but the kind of stuff I'm going to do, great big long trails, it's a 6,000 milliamp battery, so it's going to last a long time. Um, obviously, it's going to affect its hot, its centre of gravity, but I'm not too concerned about that. Um, I just while I've got that in there, I haven't gone into any details on any of these things. I kind of assume people know what what these things are, um, what they're all about. Um, you've got these micro servers in these things. So it's got a lot of servos in. It's got four servos in total. Um, because it's got high and low gears and you've got uh, diff locks front and back so it needs something to control all that this is all c controlled by cables and these these micro servers you see so <clears throat> it's quite a complicated piece of kit um, but seems to be okay micro servers seem to go seems to be to do with endpoints and uh, to be honest with you i haven't come across a car um, or an rc where the servo for some reason hasn't been a problem always is uh, steering servos it seems like they go they, they go fairly often i'm not too concerned about that i've actually got a really good steering servo that was going to go in something else sitting ready to go in it i've got a sadox one waterproof one and if that happens in the meantime then i'll warranty replace it so uh yeah i'm not too concerned about that um as far as the other side goes just to Show you the details on the sides i'm sure you've already seen them these are the portal axles so that's what lifts the axles up so we've got gearing actually inside the axles at either end gives it that ground clearance it's really well thought out this truck the link suspension arms everything it's really really well thought out um, you can't really see it from there but you get that extra from pretty much there into there you get that extra ground clearance for those portal axles and we're not going to. I'm not going to see how much difference that makes until I'm out. But uh, I'm pretty sure I've got the best out of the box crawler on the market, if I'm honest. After uh, looking into it, now then, um, I had a quick read. The instructions. Who really read the instructions on on these things? But the instructions do state to uh, make sure that the ESC goes green. Which I think if it goes red, then it's in a it's it's the wrong type of battery. I'm using lipo. We need it green for lipo. Um, I'm used to an on-off button, and I think you just tap the ESC. I'm fairly sure you do anyway. It doesn't actually tell you that. No, I'm not sure. It's a <laughs> so I'm not really sure what you call this. It's kind of like a quick start guide, but uh, yeah, turn the, 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 the before check servo operation. The one thing I do want to do is make sure, if I can, I've set some endpoints on on things because that's normally what burns servos out. So I need to look into how you set endpoints. And, and uh, at the moment, it doesn't really mention endpoints in here. Um, so that's something to look into before I go run it too much. Um, no, it doesn't. It doesn't actually talk about endpoints in here. Just as it's looks like it's about to get to it it, uh, it changes language so yeah I'm not sure but for now I'm gonna get it on the stand so if it does uh, 
shoot off. <coughs> Actually, it's quite, quite tall. I don't know if the stand will be taller, but I might have to get the bigger one out. No, oh, that should be all right. It's only my one tech. Oh, no. Oh, no, because of the shape of the bottom of it, it doesn't actually sit back. Yeah, it's off the ground. It's not going to fly anyway because they don't fly full stop. Right, that's uh, so batteries in the controller, they're all on. They're all in, sorry. Controller on. Now then, they did send me the right adapter for my Dean's batteries. Uh, need to tidy this up, don't want it that long, but uh, obviously just want to be able to run it straight away. So it's running a Traxxas to Dean's adapter there. Um, it's quite long, I, I'd be bothered about that if I was running sort of 6S and super stuff like that. It's, a, it's another part of resistance, but to be honest with you, this isn't a hugely powerful thing. Um, so let's just plug this up. So we've got a battery connection. Controller's on. Now yeah, then. Okay, we're in green. We should be powered up. Got a green light there, got a green light there. Steering servo. It's not as slow as I was expecting, actually. Yeah, like I said, it's not going to jump off the table. That's, that's full speed. That being the lower, that being the lower range. So I think it's. So oh, that's the diff lock. You can see these servos as I do things. You can see these servos moving. That changes the diff lock. That one. You've got one. One changes one. Changes the other. Don't exactly know how they work at the moment. I'll have to wait till it's on the ground to do that. One unlocks one, and as you go for two, it unlocks both. Um, high speed and low speed should be on this red one, I think. So, yeah, you can you can actually hear the, the micro server change into the higher gear. And all of a sudden, it's a lot quicker. Like I said, it's not going to fly off the bench. If I can, I'd just like to set the endpoints up. We've got menu and set, so you must be able to do it. I've got a horrible feeling it's going to be with flashes and bleeps, and I hate flashes and bleeps. But let's just have a look. I don't think the steering servo is too far off. No, it's struggling to the left. So when it's on full up to the left, I can still hear it pulling. Whereas on the right, it's not. So if that needs adjusting on that. Um, throttle end point, never really have to mess with them. It's making a strange creaky noise. I'm not sure what that is, but then again, we're running a brush motor. I've not run one of these for a long time. It makes this a sort of strange creaky noise, I think. Actually the steering trip for some reason is off. Yeah, difficult to say. Most of this you do when you're out anyway. I'm back into low gear. That's absolutely full speed. So I mean, you're really not going to be flying. Yeah. Um, I could probably crawl it on this table. I've never crawled anything before, so uh, I'm asking for trouble doing that on the camera. But uh, got to be up for it, isn't it? So. Uh, What's the response like? Oh, it's actually a bit jerky than I was expecting. That's definitely in the, just check that is in the low gear. Yeah, that is in the low gear. So, yeah, you need very slow movements. <laughs> Don't trust it that much. Straight off the end of the table. Not much space here. Yeah, it's actually a little bit jerky than I thought. I'd, I'd quite like to calm that down a bit on the, on, on the smaller, on the lower setting. Um, seems like it could be just a little bit more linear on the, on, on the, especially the reverse. Jerky. I don't know. Not sure. I don't know what I'm doing with these things. I'm just uh, literally finding this all out as we go along. Steering. Yeah. I don't know, I've never had one before, so I don't know how quick it's supposed to go. Um, I always associate quick steering with going fast. 
but uh, I can't really demonstrate this because I've got nowhere to actually demonstrate it. Um, put the body on that down here for a minute. I'm gonna see if I can crawl it along the bench. Yeah, I mean, you can, if you're very careful, you can get it to hardly move. Yeah, I think my reverse is, I'm so used to going quick. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's all gonna take a bit of practice because like I said, I'm used to going fast. So, essentially that's ready to go, which is probably the most frustrating thing you can do at uh, 12 o'clock at night, because you can't take it out. So, uh, yeah, that's all ready to go. now. Things I've come across which uh, I know people say you can't really get around. You can't turn it on and off once the body's on because you just can't get into it. So it's just a bit of an unusual sort of on-off system. You just tap the you just tap the ESC. I'm just used to using the switch. Um, it's off now. Um, I don't think there's anything else I can set up there. And obviously I'd like to take it out. Closest I'm going to do is start filming it in the back garden <laughs> at 12 o'clock at night, which uh, at the moment sounds like a good laugh, but um, I'm not sure my neighbours will agree. But, so we'll put this on, obviously it's not going to look any different. I would like to just see it moving over the body on. I don't like this on off system by tapping it like this. That's not, I'm not a big fan of that at all. It's, all, it's a bit fiddly. Um, yeah, the body's going to take some practice to get on it. See, this sort of falls on eventually. Um, unfortunately, like I said, I can't go driving it anywhere. So I can't actually play with it. And I've got to try not to drive it off the end of the bench. I mean, all I want to do is drive over things. I think that's natural. I think that's what anyone would want to do. Just see what it can drive over. Probably good practice for my uh, skills here on a tiny little bench. Although I do risk going off the end. But yeah, there we go, that's all set up, ready to go. And like I said, it's 12 o'clock at night, so I can't do anything. So, I ordered how long that was going to take. It never takes very long. Um, to be honest with you, the major things is the, the, the great big battery I've got there, 6,000 milliamp battery's gone in okay. ESC set for brushless, that's fine. Um, if that battery's a bit big, then I'll take the 3,000 milliamp ones out, they're a lot smaller. And if it's causing trouble with it, tipping over because it's so top heavy then putting one of these in half the run time but a lot a lot smaller so uh, yeah plenty of options that wires a little bit longer than I would want because of the adapter I'll probably just find a way of tidying that up if I'm honest I don't, I'm not, I don't like the wires going everywhere and it looks like one of the first things we're going to do with this kit mod wise is put a light kit in it so uh, they really do look great with a light kit in. Um, and you can get a kit that does, and these are all proper lamp, lamps in here, so you can do all these lamps, all these repeaters, um, rock lights underneath, you've got spaces for rock lights here, you've got the rear lights at the back, you can have all proper lights on, and indicators. Um, I just don't see how you could have one of these and not do that. Um, and they look great on film with them like that as well. So, yeah, I'll be a, uh, at the moment, I'm just looking, there's an official tracks this one. Um, and I'm being told not to bother with the official tracks this one and put a cheap eBay one in. But as it stands, I just want to make sure everything stays waterproof. I'm going to leave that like that for a moment because I'm just, can't really see easily what what the ideal way of putting that body on is. A bit fiddly. Uh, yeah, it just sort of falls on. Just sort of falls on in the end. But, um, yeah, the light kit will really make a difference to it. And then, 
it's how much I get into all these scale details. <laughs> Like you go crazy on that, all of a sudden you've got a roof rack full of stuff and all that stuff. I don't really know where I'm going with any of that. Um, I just want this to go out and have some nice long walks with and some fun. So uh, we'll turn her off. And uh, for now, it's done, ready to go out. And uh, obviously, I need to take the light bar out. Oh, actually, I'll use this one, obviously. Won't be using that anymore now, it's plugged in. Take the light out, won't leave that in. I'm glad that fits so six so just in case anybody wants to know, that's a six thousand milliamp 3S battery. So yeah, I mean it fits in there lovely. Uh absolutely perfectly. Obviously the smaller one will go in. Um yeah, that's me done. Okay guys, take care.